Alrighty, so um, we're gonna try this again. <laughs> I am still not so great at doing the, the whole video making thing. So y'all have seen the, the blossoms that we make. These are nice and small, aren't they? Much smaller than you're used to seeing floating objects. And it was uh, serendipitous and fun finally figuring out how to make this happen. So it turns out we do have control over the variables of feet, because that's what these are, these little tiny ones. I mean, obviously one of these is uh, the top, uh, but the rest of these are all feet. And um, what's super lovely is uh, I can generate them as I want. You know, Obviously that and that don't match. And you're like, wait, how did you do that? And I will show you. So what matters first is you have to understand that these feet variables um, are set the very first time you make a model-to-model -model connection, which is what I'm calling these. Uh, and not just a model-to-model, -model, but you also have to kick the one, at least one of the feet up into what I'm going to call an unnatural position, uh, somewhere where it's not normally uh, placed uh, above the top tip. Um, you don't have to do this, I mean, you can. And just in case this is the first video you've seen, uh, once you do mess with them, you can then move them around uh, the X and the Y plane, uh, which just is absolutely awesome. <clears throat> so, how do I actually control these feet variables, you might ask? So the way that you do that is just like you control your top tip and your global variables. So you come over here to top and, and you set your variables as you want. But what matters here is the very first support that you set. So generally to, to do this, this is not something that you do at the start of, of doing your model. You're gonna do most of your supports and then when you have a high detail area that's recessed or for whatever reason you need uh, to generate lots of uh, small tipped feet, you're gonna save your project, you know, this is already saved, uh, and then close and then open a new instance of Cheetubox. In this case, I've got one already set here. Drag your file and drop it in, because this has to be done in 1.6.5.1. It does not work in any other version. Um, and then, again, think in advance of exactly what size feet you want. In, in this case, I'm going to set them um, small, uh, just so you can see. Uh, so, <clears throat> you know, 0.25 is fine. So you're going to set your lower diameter. This is what matters for feet. Uh, let's go ahead and set that to 0.25. Um, and then this also matters. <clears throat> you have to set your diameter also to match. So basically you're creating a cylinder, a cylinder support. Um, and kick it over, lift it up, walk it over. That generates the, uh, the feet, the, the foot supports. And then go ahead and kick them up move it around um, just because I always find it funny to do that alright now this is now locked these dimensions are the dimensions that it will always be it will be 0.25 by 0.25 so uh, we come over here and we go back to our normal size of 1.5 not 15.25 that would be huge and our regular size support and now you have something like that where you can now have all kinds of fun because like let's say that I had some high detail stuff that I wanted in here and I want a whole bunch of really thin narrow supports because I've got you know a stuff that's in the way you know if you're happening, to get, this is not something that you're going to do all the time. This is, I've got recessed islands that I need to get to, and I need my stuff to be tiny. Um, <clears throat> but you notice now I've got a whole bunch of little, little tiny supports that are coming out, and this little top part right here uh, is editable. So you can either use it to connect back like this for easy, because now, guess what, that is supporting itself. Or if you've already built a support structure that you've merged this into, you can use this um, for more granular control. You know, you can do whatever you want. You can turn it into a fine detail tip if you want as well. Um, or like in this case, this is what I would do. Um, I would use it as my connection back. Um, 
so that now this becomes my support structure and I can build off this. Like you could come back over here and build off it. And it doesn't matter, like this all just broke, but like whatever, all I'm really interested in is the feet anyways, because I want to be able to go like, you know, obviously not like that, but you saw how quickly I just added a whole bunch of supports. Now I didn't actually look at that too carefully, so it's not well uh, oriented, but it's easy enough to fix its orientation so that it gets caught. And that's all that you really got to do. Uh, actually, I need to lower that. So you see this little bit right here? That needs to be covered by this. So we just have to move it so that it does. Which is not what this video was about, but just so you know. So maybe I'm actually not going to do that because that's suboptimal. But anyways, you get the point. That's how you change those bottom feet. So um, those are now set there. So if I wanted a different size, I'd have to close this again come back over here, open up a new one, and um, you know, let's say that I wanted, uh, not sure why we would want super large, but like let's say that you wanted 0.9 for your, you know, you wanted to generate a whole bunch of really big thick ones. Um, you wouldn't even really need to mess with your lower diameters. Just generate your 0.9 support, come over here, click, and then now we've got like giant feet. And you know, you click them up, you do your thing. Whee! Hold up. Let's make sure we get this. Because I, uh, I have discovered that it is a little wonky about it. It has to, you have to make it do things it doesn't like to do, or for whatever reason, it doesn't seem to want to cooperate afterwards. Cool. And now um, we come back over here and we go back down to 0.25 and we generate our support. And oh wow, it's still chunky. So maybe when you go chunky, it'll still allow you to. Oh yeah, that's what we wanted. It should still be chunky because uh, <laughs> it, it remembers exactly what you, you know, whatever first support that you set it to, uh, which is what we want. So, um, well, I mean, it's not what we want, but it's better than nothing at all. So you can, in fact, edit your lower tip dimensions. Uh, it's just, it's literally the very first support that you set and turn into a model to model is what will uh, turn into a, uh, uh, an editable, or that's the only way to edit it. So it's not like super efficient or anything, but it, it is workable. I uh, hope you guys have a good day and that this was helpful.